Simulation in Industrial Robotics and Automation, an Introduction. Part 1. The Basics. Simulation in Industrial Automation means to be able to simulate different aspects of automation, like introducing robots, how they will be used, different processes that robots will be used in, and um, into integration to the automation systems like PLC controllers and, and, and similar things, or robots working together with different uh, machine tools. So what is simulation? From Latin, it means actually to answer questions about systems without carrying out real experiments, to pretend, to pretend what is going on, so to say. And a simulation is an experiment performed on a model. So what is a model then? It means a prototype or a pattern. And a model of a system is anything an experiment can be applied to in order to answer questions about the system. That means that we need a model that represents the reality or what is to be simulated about. And that is actually what we are going to work with. So that means that the model has to be a representation of what we simulate and good enough for that purpose, so to say. What is a system? A system is an object or collection of objects whose properties we want to study during the simulation. And our wish is to study selected properties of objects is, so, is central in this definition. And in most cases, we cannot do very precise models that represent the real world. That would be too complicated. So we have to actually define what we need to study during the simulation. So during modeling and simulation, we have to really look at the complexity, the dynamics and changes that makes it difficult it's difficult to understand systems behavior and parameters that affect performance. But we also need to represent and analyze these systems with models and study these models over time. And that is what simulation is about. But also just to select actually what is of interest for us for the simulation study. And then also understand what we do not study which is about the real life world, so to say. And there are different kinds of models, like mod mental models, ride a bike, what you do without thinking about it, verbal models, could be application expert that can express something uh, by words, real models, prototypes, mockups, full scale models, mathematical models like physical laws and so on expressed by mathematical expressions, statistical models like probability to win on roulette, for example. And different types of mathematical models could be static or dynamics, time dependent, time continuous or time discrete, value continuous or value discrete, deterministic or statistics, like probability based or Monte Carlo in, in statistics, lump model time linear event based. So different kinds of mathematical models can be characterized by different properties reflecting the behavior of the system that are modeled. Now we have to remember that the model is a simplification in most cases. Even if it's not a simplification, it is not the same thing as the real world, so to say. The model is always simplification of the real system in simulation in practice. That means that we exclude some parts from the real world in the model to make it more feasible to make some simulation out of it. And the art of simulation is actually to decide what to include and what to exclude. What we do the study out of or and what we do not work with. Then during simulation we talk about model verification and validation. So 
it's pretty important that we can verify that the model is good and reliable. That is, and that means valid for its intended use. So the validation concerns are we doing the right thing? That is, user needs, specification, compliance to relevant standards, and so on. And verification, because are we not doing the right thing? I mean, then we have to redo this and actually focus on what is important. So the model represents what we are interested in. And the verification concerns, are we doing it right? That means specifications implemented are correct, product or service working in the right way. So validation is the comparison of output from a verified model with independent data, followed by analyzers that test the degree of fit. Both things have to stand out, so to say. You have to do the right thing, and it has to produce the right result. So computer simulations. Many simulation techniques used in, on computer requires time discrete models and value discrete models. So data from the real system is important for increased accuracy, but simulation of unknown future systems requires assumptions about the future. And this is really a trick. How can anyone do simulations of, about the future? In reality, it's quite difficult. I mean, like forecasting the stock market in the future or the weather forecast the next week, two weeks ahead, one month ahead. It's almost impossible. And the same goes for many things. But in some cases, like industrial processes, we are more certain than in other cases where the stochastic variations are more uh, difficult to predict. So the use of computer to represent the responses of a system by the behavior of other systems modeled after it relates to computer simulations. And a computer simulation uses mathematical description or models of real systems in the form of a computer program. And simulations by the use of computers started already in the 50s. The first simulations carried out with computers and models was described in high-level computer languages at the time, such as Fortran, which is not so high-level today, and Later on, during the 60s, in the general purpose simulation system, one of the first simulation languages at the mid 60s, Simula, uh, and end of 60s, the first animations came to life within simulation. End of the 70s, the first interactive modeling tools, and uh, modeling tools meant uh, graphical, so to say, uh, different CAD versions, CAD software came out. A pretty simple with today's standard, of course, in mid 80s, the development of robot simulation tools. Actually, uh, the origin of what is today known as uh, process simulating, uh, the Simulus factory simulation suite, um, originally RobCAD, started in the mid 80s, and uh, also iGrip, which is today in in the uh, Dassault suite of uh, robotic simulation. And the 90s, user robot simulation in industry with pretty expensive workstations uh, running Unix uh, came to life. If you look at today's standard, uh, notably or most uh, from Yuli Packard, Sun, and uh, Silicon Graphics. And after the millennium, integrated systems with the product lifecycle management, databases, and new smaller systems based on Windows. And uh, so the area has more or less exploded. And, and of course, I mean, lots of different types of software, but also the computing power is much higher and cheaper. So simulation can actually take place on... Uh, different scales today.